Wave 5 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass is almost 3 weeks old. Now is the perfect time for me to rank my top 10 tracks from the Booster Course Pass so far. Warning, my choices are very controversial so if you disagree, or agree, let me know why in the comments. Let's get into the video. Number 10. GBA Boo Lake is a phenomenal track which finally added the lake to Boo Lake, unlike the missing sunset from Sunset Wilds. I love the visuals of this track so much and the music. Just listen to this. The added anti-gravity and flooded section make this track a top pick for me. Additionally, the shortcut is fun to pull off, even though I didn't. The tight turns make for intense online races. Boo Lake is currently my favorite GBA course in the Booster Course Pass and Mario Kart 8 in general. Sorry Broken Pier fans but this is the superior course. Number 9. Tour Sydney Sprint. Sydney Sprint is just that track. I've never been upset when it comes up online. It's Drift in Heaven, which is a theme you'll notice on this top 10 track list. There are fun shortcuts to pull off all over this track. Also the music is just phenomenal. I especially love this ramp section for some reason. It was a clever way to incorporate the trick variant from Mario Kart Tour on what would have otherwise been a boring straight path. My only complaint is this entire track should have been anti-gravity since Australia is upside down. Number 8. This is one of my favorite tracks from Mario Kart Wii and although this remake is not as good as the original, ground cliffs and no electric shelves, I still love this track a lot. This track has three unique songs for different parts of the track. Cliffs, and all three are great. There is great shortcut opportunity on this track which always keeps things interesting. I'm not sure why anti-gravity was added to the flooded pipe section but I'm not complaining. The waterfall near the end of the track was nerfed from the Wii version of the track but overall I still have a lot of fun. Also shouldn't the inklings like explode underwater or something? How do they drive underwater in this game? Number 7. Tour LA Laps. LA Laps is what I wish the earlier city tracks did, make use of the different lap gimmick in a big way. Every variant of this track feels so different from each other. From the beach, to a baseball field to an oil field. Even though the oil field is very ugly. I also think the music is a major upgrade from the Mario Kart Tour version even though part of me still misses the- <laughs> This track has a lot of shortcut potential which is usually a good thing and as the only Tour City track to use sections rather than laps I find it more exciting to race on than most other tracks. LA Laps also lost its sunset from Tour but honestly I think it was for the best. The colors are more vibrant now. I can't even tell you I like this track so much. I just do. There's something so simple about this track that makes it work perfectly which is the exact same reason why I like number 6 on the list. Number 6. Just hear me out and don't click off this video. Tour Paris Promenade. Subscribe because I was bold enough to be a Paris Promenade truther and subscribe because this is my first video and any support will greatly help me grow this channel and like the video too. Now Tour Paris Promenade is just incredibly simple fun music and I love the time of day. This is the only city track where the route doesn't change each lap but instead you do the final lap backwards, and I love this idea. Thematically, it does a better job of feeling like Paris than most other city tracks feeling like the cities the map is based off of. It was a nice way to be introduced to the city track's gimmick of changing each lap. There's a nice alternative pathway, even though there's no item boxes and a fun shortcut near the start of the lap, or the end of his lap 3. I can't see why this track is not a favorite in the community, as other tracks are more exciting, but for me it does everything right. Number 5 Squeaky Clean Sprint Squeaky Clean Sprint has the level of creativity that was missing in a lot of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's original tracks, for example Water Park, where cool concepts fell flat and the action was happening in the background. Squeaky Clean Sprint shrinks racers down and throws them into a chaotic bathroom scene, and it's just beautiful to race on. Down the bathtub, through the drain pipe, and over the toilet. There are so many easter eggs and fun references all over this track, making it so fun to race on. There are also so many alternative paths to choose from, that you can't use them all in one race. Watch me fail the range shortcut. I wish the drain pipe section was a little wider, but maybe that's just a skill issue. Number 4, 3DS Rainbow Road. 
3DS Rainbow Road is the best Rainbow Road in the series. It was the perfect way to wrap up the first half of the Booster Course Pass. I've loved this track ever since it released on the 3DS so I was excited to see it return in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I have a bias for section-based tracks, LA Laps, Mount Wario and the Woohoo tracks from the 3DS. Drifting on the rings of Saturn to float in on the moon. There isn't a dull moment with this Rainbow Road, even though it's not as difficult as the others in the series, it makes up for it by being the most ambitious. Although I'm a fan of the road texture for this track, it means we don't have a natural looking rainbow road in the game yet so I hope we rainbow road is added and looks more like an actual rainbow. Now we enter in the top 3. Number 3 Wii, DK Summit. I prefer this version of DK Summit to the Wii version yes I know, scandalous. I just love this track and ate so much. You get an insane boost from the half pipes in this game, the half pipe physics are crazy. I love the DK statue replacing the Mario statue from Wii because, this is DK's track after all. The music is a banger as always and the gap cut is back, watch me overshoot this. I don't even have much to say about why I like this track so much, other than it's just fun. It's a good time, a great time even, and that is what the Mario Kart track should be. Number 2 is my favorite city track, Athens Dash. Athens Dash is just fantastic. I love this track so much. The music is just triumphant. And the layout is the most ambitious of all the city tracks. I will admit the blind corners mean you have you learned the layout of the track. The track uses a mixture of laps and sections, much like Singapore Speedway. Where you go through caves and up a cliff. This is without a doubt the best city course in 8 Deluxe so far. Before number 1, here are some honorable mentions. Mushroom Gorge. Singapore Speedway. Coconut Mall. Vancouver Velocity. And Daisy Cruiser. And the number one spot on my list goes to DS Peach Gardens. DS Peach Gardens has always been a track I enjoyed back on the DS and then on the Wii, so there's a lot of nostalgia bias with this track. But the Mario Kart 8 remake is just phenomenal, 10 out of 10. For starters, visually, it's one of the better looking tracks in the Booster Course Pass. I've always loved the song too. I will never forget the feeling when I first played this remake and realized the final lap was in reverse. It pulled a Paris Promenade. Fun shortcuts across the track. Although the chain chomp maze was nerfed, I still love what they've done with the track. The glider ramp on the final lap, and being able to trick off the chain chomps, and high five Luigi, is such a nice touch. This track is the perfect way to remake a retro, in my opinion. It added something new, to an already beloved course, and that's why it's number one on my list. And there you have it, my top 10 picks for the best tracks, in the booster course pass so far. Share with me your top 10 tracks in the comments below. And if you disagree with me, let me know why. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It goes a really long way as I'm just starting out on YouTube.